seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. successful liftoff of the Falcon 9. Uh, look closely, we're about to move through supersonic. You may actually see the vapor cone that forms from the shockwave, if we're lucky. Otherwise, we're coming up shortly on max Q, which is maximum aerodynamic pressure, the point at which Falcon 9 is pushing hardest against the atmosphere. chill, uh, which prepares the second stage engine for ignition. Uh, main engine cutoff is coming up in about 40 seconds from now, shortly followed by both stage separation and then second engine start. We'll be concluding coverage of the primary mission at that point. Second stage separation and ignition. Uh, notice the vehicle is currently, or the first stage is currently doing a fast flip maneuver and a boost back burn. The fast flip is to get it headed back towards landing zone one as quickly as possible, and the boost back burn, uh, or to get it in the right orientation to head back, and the boost back burn actually pushes it back towards landing zone one. We've got three engines burning at the moment, though we're in the outer reaches of the atmosphere, so you can't actually see any visible flame, but you'll notice uh, indications that the engines are on just above the first stage there in this shot. Stage one, quick back burn, shut down. And the boost back burn has now ended. Notice that the vehicle is still climbing. There you saw the grid fins just opened up. Uh, these grid fins are uh, recently moved to being made out of titanium, which is a much higher temperature material than aluminum, and that's better able to stand the uh, high temperatures of re-entry. You'll also notice the uh, brief spurts of what appear to be white smoke. Those are our nitrogen thrusters. And those control the orientation of the vehicle uh, when the grid fins aren't able to, uh, because there's no atmosphere. The grid fins, of course, requiring atmosphere to operate. stage continuing its parabolic arc 
heading towards landing zone one, starting to descend back towards Earth. We're still uh, about a minute and a half or so away from the re-entry burn, which is going to slow the vehicle down uh, to only a couple times the speed of sound before re-entering the atmosphere. Re-entry burn coming up in about one minute. As you can see, the speed of the first stage is still rapidly increasing. Uh, the re-entry burn is going to slow that back down in order to keep those aerodynamic forces upon re-entry at a minimum. Those cold gas thrusters still adjusting the uh, attitude of the first stage. The tree started. There's the reentry burn. will last for another uh, 15 seconds or so, rapidly decreasing the entering velocity. The shut down. Successful conclusion of the re-entry burn. Uh, you can notice uh, that's ground underneath Falcon 9 there, uh, heading toward landing zone 1. We're about to slow back down through the speed of sounds. You notice those vibrations as that is coming up. Stage one ATS has stage. Stage one is transonic. Coming up in just a few seconds now, we're going to begin the landing burn. That will slow the vehicle down for a gentle touchdown. Landing burn started. This is a single engine burn, which allows for more control. And there you can see it on the screen on your right there, descending through the clouds, headed towards the concrete pad. Deployed. That's Falcon 9 standing proud at landing zone 1.